Alright guys, hello, welcome to the Crouch Ranch. So what are we going to cook in this today? We are going to cook one of our uh, heritage breed turkeys. It's a midget white. It's about seven pound bird. And then we're also going to do a pork loin um, that we just got from our last hog. And uh, we're going to try those out in here and see how it goes. Okay, so you ready to light a fire? Fire, good. Let's do it. Let's make fire. All right, so we've got our Kingsford charcoal here, which is what Barrel House recommends using. Um, you need about eight pounds to do uh, the kind of uh, smoking we're gonna do today. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put about half of this in my chimney here to get it started. All right, I'm gonna take some paper and I'm gonna stick it underneath my chimney so that I can get that lit. Okay, so the rest of the charcoal that I need, I'm gonna go ahead and pour into the charcoal basket. A couple of cool things while these coals are getting hot that I wanna go over with you guys. Um, there's several ways to set this up. One way is get rid of this, take your grill, set it right on top of your coals, and there's little guides here that'll hold it right there. Hibachi, boom. You can sear something right there on the heat, okay? Another cool way to set this up. Now, we like to grill, you know, I like to grill pork chops on the grill. Uh, if I wanted to grill some steaks or some pork chops on this thing, we could take the H frame, put it down inside here, okay? And if you'll notice, it actually sits on that lip right there. And then, before you put it all together, huh, you pull this out, you could set this on the H-frame, okay, and then get it hot, okay, so now your fire's way up here, and then your grill goes in, and you've got a beautiful 18-inch grill right there. Now, today, the way we're going to set it up is like a barrel cooker, okay, which is really what it's what this unit's all about and we're going to set it up with your charcoal basket down on the very bottom and then your barrel is going to go on top of that okay now this charcoal is pretty hot so I'm going to go ahead and add it in so like Sid said a minute ago, it's about eight pounds of charcoal. And uh, we put about half of it in our chimney, put about half of it in here. And now we're just gonna come in here on top of this, spread it out nice and evenly. And there you have it. We're gonna take this guy, put it on top. And now that heat's starting to come up through that I can feel it already. <laughs> you feel like a homeless man in an alley right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is called the H-frame because it looks like an H in the middle, right? That's easy enough. And you're going to stick this down in here. Oh, there we go. Like that? No. Yep. Yes? Just like that. Okay, just like that. And that H-frame is what we're going to use to hang the meat from. Okay, so now we're going to uh, fix a little ventilation here. Um, we have it opened up all the way so that we can get lots of air flow through here and get it nice and hot, get the coals hot all the way through, but now it's time to choke it down. So in the instruction manual, it'll tell you uh, the amount of dots for each uh, level of elevation that you're at. We are at number one um, because we're at about 1,400 feet. So we're gonna choke it down to where you only see the one dot. And it lists it real clearly in the instruction manual, so you just go according to that and you should be good to go. Okay, this turkey. Sid's been brining this turkey for like three days now. Yes, this one we bred, hatched, and uh, butchered right here. Out of my midget group. 
This is one of the smaller uh, Jennies. It's a seven pound bird. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking these hooks and hooking them right through the bird. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna let it drain a little bit. So I'm gonna put the bird in here. They give you this little tool. So there's a bird hanging. Now we're also going to do one of these tenderloins from the hog that we recently did. And I'm just going to take this hook and I'm just going to go right through the meat just like that. And I'm just going to hang it. That's exactly how you'd do ribs or any other kind of meat. So we're just going to let that hang and we're going to cover it up and let it come up to temperature. So uh, the turkey and the loin have been in here for about an hour. We're at uh, just shy of 300 degrees in there, according to the uh, thermometer. So we're going to take a peek and see, check the temp on this meat. Ooh, it's looking good already. Handy dandy little lid holder. Let's see what's going on here. So. Okay, so we're at an internal temp on the bird of uh, 126, so that obviously needs a little bit longer, but the loin is done. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that off. Which, I don't have a clean plate. Frankie. I'm prepared. Frankie. Franklin, this is why go, you have to Go get a plate. Guys. Go get a plate, quickly. Hurry. Mas rapido, por favor. Go. Okay, so now it's time to take this uh, loin off because it is done. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off with the accessory wand here. Handy dandy, nice and simple. And uh, the small child, the small tiny human, was uh, nice enough to bring us that. I'm gonna check the temp again real quick just to make sure, show you guys, because it was hanging inside the fire. So I just wanna double check it and make sure since it is pork. And, oops, the internal temp is at 155, 156, 150, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, Nate. You want to try some of this loin out? Heck yeah! Alright, so our buddy Nate's over here helping us work on Frankie's Playhouse and do some odds and ends. So uh, we're going to try, let him try some of this meat and go get a knife and a fork mm, and stuff, right? It smells good. Does that look good? That looks I wish killer. you guys could smell this. It smells oh, really good. Yeah. That's some good smelling meat. Let's get a knife. Oh, hey, where's that? Where's that brand new bench made? Ah, be right back. I got my new bench made knife. I'm really excited about this blade. I have not done a review on it yet. I picked it up actually for skinning hogs um, and have not skinned a hog with it yet. That's coming up soon though. So we're gonna remove that hook. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a clean, clean cut right about there. And I can start slicing that. Look at that, oh look at that smoke ring in there. That's nice. In the dark. So this is a pork loin. <clears throat> By the way, Frankie was just asking me off camera here what this is, what this cut of meat is. Um, it's a pork loin, so it's basically like the filet mignon of the of the hog. It's that's what that is. That is the premium cut. All leftovers of that are coming with me at the end of the day today. Ha! Huh, nice try. <laughs> so Nate, you. You're into the wild, the wild meats. Tell us how that Crouch Ranch raised hog cooked in the barrel house cooker tastes. Mm. Yeah, that's killer. That is absolutely killer. Oh my god, that's so good. So good. <laughs> that turned out amazingly. It did. Wow. That is. You're right. There's not going to be left. We over have before. done the loins on our old barbecue with the same rub, same everything, this is like a night and day difference. Ooh. Like, it's no joke. <laughs> Whoa. That is nice. I just melted on my mouth. I know. That is like night and day. It just melted. It's just, it's tender, it's, it's so juicy good. as, like, all get out. That's wow. insane. We need to make this more often. It's an excellent rub. 
Mm -hmm. Good job on the rub. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. This is the best thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> wow. I can, now I'm excited to try the turkey. That's gonna be ridiculously moist. If this turned out this way, <laughs> that's gonna be stupid. <laughs> I'm coming over to eat more. That's all I got. Right. <laughs> you know, I spent a lot of time in Texas eating wild game, going to barbecue joints. That right there, I better than anything I've had down in Texas anywhere. Wow. <laughs> That was good. Hands down, best pork tenderloin I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I raised it. You butchered it. I, I rubbed it. it. We cooked it. And it's gone. And gone. Okay, so we are going to pull the bird out now. It's been in for a little bit over two hours. And uh, it's about 160 right now. So we're going to go ahead and pull it and check it and uh, see what's going on. We just pulled, we did the tenderloin a little while ago and uh, that was in for about an hour and it was amazing. So we're excited about this bird. Okay, so we have thoroughly enjoyed using this barrel house cooker. Uh, the loin we did it and it was amazing. This bird looks amazing. We can't wait to dig into it. And uh, this thing's the ticket. The ticket. Hey, don't forget, like this video. Smash that like button down there, all right? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to like it. Don't be timid. We don't like timid. That's right. Hit the little bell up top so that uh, when we go live or when we post a new video, you get a notification. Yep. And uh, subscribe to our channel. Oh, yeah, that. Hang out with us. Because we're cool and stuff. It's a party. Yeah. And we and make th awesome food. And there's meat. There's meat. We bred it, hatched it, butchered it, well, raised it, butchered it, and cooked it. Come on. That's America. Let's go eat. America. Let's go eat. Right now. <laughs> The breast is white, but basically everything else in the breast is a little bit darker. But it's a darker bird. So it doesn't, it's not that it's not cooked when you see how red it is, that's just the color of the meat. Wow, that's so good. And the starving. That looks like a good one. And breast. Daddy. Hey, you know what? I need a cutting board. You do? I do. That juice is going everywhere on that plate. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>